May I pay to serve her? Yeah, go on. Um, I am over 18, you know. I'd fetch you some ID, but um, it's in my married name, so. Yeah, well, I don't want any trouble. We didn't cause any trouble in church. No. And I've got a wedding present for them. And then will you go? When I've drunk my pint, which I haven't even started yet. I don't. Snake bite. Times two. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. That's it for me. Where am I going to get another pretty barnet at such short notice? Ah, Sunita. Yeah. Give us a hand behind the bar, love. Oh, no. Sorry. Do you carry on. Uh, actually, this is a celebration of my future with Tracy, and I think you've already done enough damage to that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, I want you to leave, please. Thank you. Oh, I'm gone. Not until you've opened my wedding present. I'll put it with the rest, shall I? Uh -uh. I think it's a bit late for sad love letters, don't you, Becky? Bye. Open it. So, uh, this is the bit where you just talk among yourselves. About me if you want, why not? It's all anyone's done for months, isn't it? Staring, whispering, judging, changing history. She's always been a bad in that, Becky, you know. Yep. You can take the girl out the gutter. You just can't take the gutter out of that girl. Oh, excuse me, but is this like a new tradition between the best man's speech and the groom's speech? The sour ex-wife speech? Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, what have I got These here? are Tracy's medical records showing that when she fell down my stairs, and that's fell, folks, not pushed... Ah, oh, what? There were no babies. <laughs> I don't... Now, whatever she's been through, and trust me, I would not wish that on my worst enemy, which she is, by the way, it was nothing to do with me. She'd already lost the baby, Steve. Check the dates. Your shiny new wife's a filthy liar. Oh, it's forged. She'd do anything. Dad. How low are you, Papetta Stoop? Becky, where did you get this from? Me, Stoop. Kenny, talk to your wife, love. She's so stooped, she's folded in half. She knew. Isn't that right, dreary? Oh. Filthy liars. They're running the family. Steve, you've got to believe me. This is lies. Yeah, well, it's not, though, is it? I hope you'll both be very happy together. <coughs> you deserve each other. Just read it, Ken. No! It's rubbish! Mum! Mum, get over there and tell him that it's forged! Oh. Is it true? Did we? I know oh. nothing about it. I'm not saying you do. All right, we'll back off then. I'm just saying, does it look like a genuine medical record, does it? Yeah. Okay. Well, she hates me! She'll be in it with her. They'll be in it together. You think Becky had help working out how to access the medical records? It's an interesting theory. Oh! All right, all right. <laughs> Steve, Steve, you can't believe her over me. You disgust me. No! Disgust me. I hate you. Keep her away from me. I need to see Becky. Now, come on, Steve, Steve, get us straight. straight. Did you know about this? Oh, me? Is this why you swerved the wedding? Because you knew something? No! No, the car broke down. Phone the breakdown company if you don't... No, look, nobody needs to do that. Come on, Steve, look. Come in the back. Get me a drink. 